set to engage here. I think a lot of people in EA Sports UFC 5 are going to put this matchup together. Yeah, people are going to play this one because Jose Aldo, as he continued in his career, you saw improved boxing skills. You saw a guy that was just better with his hands, but Sean O'Malley, I mean, the traps that he sets, the angles that he cuts, his striking is that next level of striking. He's so comfortable, cool, and collected inside the octagon with four ounce gloves. We have not seen that much. He's a tremendous boxer, but that will be tested tonight against Jose Aldo, the legend. How good is this action about a minute in? I think I'm gassing out just watching this thing. I'm exhausted trying to call all the strikes that these two men are throwing at each other. What a fun fight. Yeah, I hate to be the punch counter to that. <laughs> Man, no feeling out process whatsoever. These strikers are getting after it early. They don't like each other, and they are trying to get the opponent out of there right away. Nice leg kick. And now he lands a combination. What a body shot by Jose Aldo. Two minutes have expired in our opening round. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Pretty interesting to see him mixing it up with the kicks here. Some calf kicks and now attacking the thigh effect. Just throwing a traditional leg kick. The traditional leg kick was a little higher. Everybody wants to talk about that calf kick right now. There's still a lot can be done with those traditional leg kicks. Stuff to take down, no problem. Misses with the right hand. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. Oh, Malley gets tattooed with that hook. He's going to have to change some things here. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Big body kick land. Works the body once again. And he caught the kick. Oh, nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. That punch was deflected. Nicely done. They're so evenly matched, and they're going to attack. Five minutes in the books. That horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. You ready to fight? Ready. All right. Round two. All right. Next round is now underway. Do you see any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Front kick to the body by Sean O'Malley. Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now. But he's got to start to protect it. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Aldo's shot there is blocked. Slips the left hand. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV. But every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut. And now all the blood that's coming from the cut. 
Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. We have crossed the midpoint of this fight. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Certainly showing off some good hands here tonight. Oh, just misses with the kick. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Aldo's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Beautiful kick. Less than a minute now to go in round two. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very... Oh, my goodness! Oh! Oh, another huge ground strike landed by him there. How much more can one man take? Aldo gets the takedown here late in the round. Making all these shots count. In a very close round, a takedown like that might be the difference. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's going to have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's right. Oh, he's in trouble. He's very close to the finish here. Back to the feet. Oh, misses with the jab. Back and forth we go. Well, shades of Anthony Showtime Pettis against Tony Ferguson. Oh. Oh, this could do it. Oh, he's wobbling now. Oh! Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, you can get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt, and he's got him hurt multiple times in one round. Look at it hurt, Pete, to stop it, and he will! Oh, my...